Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Topic 1. Security Architecture and Design Introduction Hello and welcome to Lesson 3 of CISSP Certification Course by Simply Learn. This lesson is about security architecture and design. Security architecture and design is the third of the ten domains of the Common Body of Knowledge, CBK, for the CISSP Certification Exam. Security architecture and design describes fundamental logical, hardware, operating system and software security components and how to use them to design, architect and evaluate secure computer systems. Understanding these fundamental issues is critical for an information security professional. This domain addresses the concepts, principles, structures, frameworks and standards used to design, implement, monitor and secure individual systems and the IT enterprise. It focuses on the architecture of security services used to enforce various levels of confidentiality, integrity and availability in key information assets. Security architecture and design focus on the translation of security requirements into usable designs for security controls. Security architecture and design is a three-part domain. The first part covers the logical models required to keep the system secure. The second part covers evaluation models, which quantify how secure the system actually is. The third part covers the hardware and software requirement to achieve a secure computer system. Objectives According to the ISC 2 Candidate Information Bulletin, a CISSP candidate should understand security models in terms of confidentiality, integrity and information flow system models in terms of the common criteria, technical platforms in terms of hardware, firmware and software, and system security techniques in terms of preventative, detective and corrective controls. Agenda. Before we begin, I will first briefly introduce you to the list of topics which will be covered in this lesson. We will start with the introduction to the architectural frameworks. Next, I will introduce you to the security models. This will be followed by understanding the information classification, which helps us in determining the level of protection required for a given data set. Next on our agenda will be evaluation criteria, which will be followed by enterprise security architecture and the concepts of system security architecture. Finally, we will discuss common security threats and countermeasures. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to meet all the objectives set by the ISC 2 